pretty much any area you can think of within the scientific field, they're using visualization in some way. If we look at a molecule, you know, we can't see that with the naked eye. But if we actually take that data and then create a scientifically accurate visualization from it, you begin to see how things not only work together, but grasp the full understanding of what's going on behind the visualization. My name is Colleen Heinemann, and I am currently a PhD student at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, studying scientific visualization and how that can be combined with high-performance computing. The idea behind this is to bring a level of interactivity to the visualizations, bring it down to the level that the general population can actually understand and then see, oh, okay, I see what's going on there. Augmented reality brings the level of interactivity to the visualizations. We can actually move the model around in 3D within our world and then have us be able to walk around it and the visualizations just kind of enhance the ability to not only ask the big questions of why, but also to actually answer those questions. I've been drawing and painting for as long as I can remember, but I was always very interested in science. My uncle actually inspired me to look at the computing side to get that foundation in computer science and then translate that into animation. I was an intern at the Blue Water Supercomputer at the University of Illinois, where they taught us about visualization and actually using high-performance computing and the science behind everything with visualization and combining all of those areas. And that's just kind of when it clicked, where I decided that makes sense to me. This is so much fun. I'm like a kid in a candy store doing that kind of thing. That's always my joke when people ask me what I do is, oh, I just make pretty pictures, but you want it to be scientifically accurate. It's still pretty astounding. The power that can be harnessed from the supercomputers gives you the potential to do even larger simulations and just even more complicated science that you couldn't do before. I just can't imagine doing anything else at this point. It just made perfect sense.